Hello and welcome to ESPN Quick Info Dailies. I'm Ronald Kapoor with the top cricket news this Friday. First up, South Africa and India plan a T20I series for the end of August. Cricket South Africa braces for just half a season in 2020-21. And Sri Lanka Cricket's new stadium project is suspended after backlash. South Africa have been encouraged by the BCCI's willingness to play three T20Is at the end of August, provided government regulations on both sides allow the fixtures to go ahead. The series, which is not part of the Future Tours program, was negotiated by Cricket South Africa's Director of Cricket Graham Smith and BCCI President Saurav Ganguly during a CSA executive trip to India in February and finalised via teleconference as both boards consider ways to get their teams back on the park. There remain significant challenges to the series going ahead, with both countries still under lockdown, with their COVID-19 infection rates on an upward curve. South Africa is preparing for a September peak in infection rates, which would make hosting matches in August seem unlikely. In such a case, Cricket South Africa's acting CEO Jacques Fall said the BCCI expressed willingness to play the matches later in the South African summer. Cricket South Africa is preparing for four different scenarios ahead of the 2020-21 summer, with the most likely being a reduced domestic season, with matches expected to be played behind closed doors. The Mzanzi Super League remains a priority, but CSA is reluctant to play the tournament behind closed doors, which could see it pushed out as far as March next year in order to be played with an audience. Either way, South African cricketers can expect some part of their summer to be affected by the coronavirus pandemic, with the country planning for a peak infection rate in September, which is when the season typically gets underway. The board's acting CEO Jacques Fall confessed the unlikeliest scenario is that the season will start as normal. Sri Lanka Cricket's new stadium project in Colombo, which was proposed only several days ago, has been suspended following the Sri Lanka government's rowing back of its commitment to its construction. Although on May 17, Government Minister Bandula Gunawardana appeared with Sri Lanka Cricket CEO Shami Silva to announce the construction of a 40,000 capacity stadium east of the city, adverse public opinion appears to have changed the government's mind. Sri Lanka Cricket had confirmed it was the government which had promised to allocate the 26 acres the stadium was supposed to be built on, and without this grant, and particularly without governmental support, the project is essentially dead. Several former cricketers, particularly former captain Mahila Jaiwardhane and ex-ICC match referee Roshan Mahanama, had expressed criticism of the stadium proposal, and it is these opinions which appear to have helped change the government's mind on the project.